Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see, I have like a different hairstyle. It like really sucks for getting my hair like how it should be because it's like not falling how it should be. But anyway, I will brush over it and I even made it more worse. But anyways, I am using like a very not too much makeup, but I wanted to keep you guys a little bit up to date. So let's get the update done, right? Um, everyone is asking like, how are you? Um, and I'm so sorry and things like that, you know. But um, yesterday I got to the specialist, you know, I can't say the the right word for it because it's like so hard to say. Um, that make sure yeah, like your back isn't stuck and things like that anymore because my back got stuck and I can't go to work anymore I just can't the doctor was like you can't work like that for another job that I'm doing um, he was like he was like first you have to rest and then I had and then I got back and I was like it's still not over and he was like yeah you have to try to do a lot and I was like okay so I did and then I got to the specialist you know and boyfriend always uh, says like or he said then like you have to trust the specialist because he specialized in it and he said like no the doctor is like totally wrong you can't like do anything like seems what he said first was right but not what he said after that so um yeah, my back it got stuck. Then there were like a couple of problems that I never mentioned because they are like small problems, but they can become like very huge problems. Um, this part of my body is already lower than this one, so it's not like straight, you know, not one beautiful line. This one is lower. Also, one of my legs, like where my leg always got stuck on the right side it seems to be one centimeter smaller than the other part and I was like seriously like really seriously um and then yesterday I also had like bad news because I got there and it was like your back is getting like you know more flexible it's not really really stuck anymore and I was like like I can't sleep most of the nights because I have so much pain and he was like it's my rib you know um, the lowest strip seems the lowest strip isn't stuck on all the other um, ribs seems I didn't know that but anyway now I do and he was like you really have to get like take pictures again go to the doctor listen what he says because it really is your lip not not lip rip I'm sorry and I was like so scared and he was like um, or your rib is broken or there is like um, something else wrong with it, you know how to say it a stress factor fracture. Oh my god. I can't talk anymore like a Stress fracture or something like that whatever you're saying so that there is something wrong with it and it has to heal and he said actually when your leg is broken when your arm is broken they they put something around it, you know the white gross stuff first and when it dries you know what I mean but with rips you can't do it so it's possible you have to wear like something that keeps it tight or something like that or um, yeah so I'm scared I have an appointment um, at 2.45 um, p.m. today with the doctor and I will see because Specialists will said they had to take like again pictures of my um yeah of my ribs because there really is something wrong with um yes I'm actually a little bit scared because I'm scared I don't know how it got broken or something like that because 
my boyfriend was like, oh, what did you done? Like, what did you done to do that? And I was like, I don't know. I just woke up. Sorry. And I had like an amazing pain. Like, I, I really like couldn't take it anymore. And the doctor gave me painkillers. But the only thing the painkillers did was making me sleepy. But didn't take the pain away. And I told him and he was like, yeah, you have to take an extra um, painkiller, but another one. And I was like, but I'm already like falling asleep. Like even if I'm walking or sitting, I'm falling asleep. I'm like, I don't want that because who does want that, you know? And he was like, yeah, you have to go to a specialist. And then he write the paper because only with... Um, going to the doctor first and he's like that you have to go to a specialist you will get an appointment else not -uh, you won't get an appointment so yeah today i have to go back actually like oh my god you know the problem here that is a piece missing is because i had an accident like when i was a couple years old and yeah but whatever, I'm like, seriously, I, this is like terrible, if, even if it's not broken, but I have the other thing that I said, it still is like, the only, the only thing you can do is like, lying down the whole time and doing nothing, I'm like, seriously, how is it possible with a child for doing nothing? Like that ain't that ain't possible. No, uh, 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 no, nah. impossible. But anyway, I told him like with a child, it's not possible for doing nothing. Like, what I'm going to say, like, oh, you you go to the store, go to go on your own and things like that. No, like seriously. Now we I'm waiting actually always till my boyfriend is finished with work. And when he is finished, like with work, I'm sorry, <laughs> my watch. Um. Then I really just like try for um, going to the store. But if I know he, he will be very late, I go. Even I, I can, but wear anything I had to because one package of him had to get sent back. And I did that two days ago. And it was like super heavy, but actually it was fine. But yeah. I'm like seriously, my body is like, is is like really um, effed up to be honest, because I feel so old. Maybe it's because I'm getting 25, and last year or actually November 2016, my boyfriend turned into 25, and I was laughing with him, and I was like, when you are 25, you are like closer to 30 than to 20, and I'm still like closer to 20 so I'm fine and now I'm getting that age and yeah I already feel like old hope you guys like my new hairstyle because I do I really wanted it for a long time and then one of the barbers said like no you can't do that style you know because my hair got burnt and things like that now my hair is beautiful straight you see it's coming like perfectly and here too I love it but it takes me like a long time to get my hair like this because I have to like blow dry piece by ple by piece. I'm sorry, I have to brush it. You know, the hair dryer in one hand, the other hand, my brush and like piece by piece doing it. I even had to buy like a new brush. But the camera got off. But anyway, what I was saying was, but um. They were in sale, so they were like only one or two euros. I think only 99 cents or one euro 99. So I was like, okay. Now about like all products because at the barbershop they didn't show me exactly how I wanted to have have it. My daughter her hair done. She asked me like to do a very, very, very hard thing. She saw a picture of Nicki Minaj with like um her hair... If you don't saw the picture, you guys aren't going to know. But 
she was like I want that hair and she was like oh but she's got like white pieces in it too and I'm like I'm not gonna get like get you white pieces in there and was like no -uh, no way I'm like I will try to do it and at the barber shop they told me it would be taking at least two or three hours also because my daughter got longer hair than me but anyway I will find it out if I can do it or not and I'm going to catch you guys later because I have to make like a phone call and then I'm going out because I have to bring papers um, okay for work and things like that so catch you guys later hi guys so I didn't go to the store or anything I just tried to watch something to be honest pain is incredible like getting up out of bed of out of whatever for um like getting to the toilet and things like that just like killing me um but yeah anyway i'm like over one hour I have to be at the doctor i'm going to see what he is saying because i also have to know like um if they're gonna make like other like pictures f or actually photos um of my um ribs because I don't know when that um, appointment will be. Will the appointment be also today or will the appointment be tomorrow? I have no idea. But like right after I had to go to the doctor, I have to pick up my daughter from school. So normally the call doctor calls because it's like at the, at the other side of the street where they take the pictures and they have the like the result directly. Um, but the thing is, I'm going to make sure when they call and they want to make me an appointment that it is like when I picked up my daughter because she can go with me, but then she has to wait because she can go with me where they take the um, like the photos because the light, you know, and for children it's like more dangerous. But anyway, um, she can wait. There are like a lot of people and they let their children wait in and things like that. So, um, yeah. <sighs> like, I really hope it's not bad because I'm like shaking and like, you really have to hear like or feel my heart is going like super fast because I'm so stressed out. I don't know what I'm going to expect or what I can expect actually um, because you know the therapist, the specialist, whenever you want to call it or seeing probably something is broken or you know there is something but yeah I love the way my eyebrows look and I'm not looking any eyebrow thing I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics um, said um liner like really a liner for getting your eye eyeliner actually for getting the eyes done but i'm using it for my eyebrows and it's like it was like directly right like i was like oh my god it's really working and it's not getting off it's an amazing product like seriously i'm just so stressed like Okay, it's four minutes, so one hour and four minutes before I have to be there. Someone called me, but I was like on the toilet. I really had to pee, and I don't want to go to pee too much because I always have to get like, you know, right and stand up and, and go into there, and it really hurts for, and but her mostly is like getting up. So I was like, hmm, waiting as much as I can or what am I going to do? But yeah, you know, sometimes you have to wait like a little bit longer because this pain is incredible. But anyway, pray for me, you guys. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know. Like so much is happening here, like in just a short time. But I tried to let you guys know. Because my boyfriend was like that there was a lot of work to do. Yesterday he didn't have to work. 
because um, there wasn't enough work for all the people who work there, or all the drivers actually. Um, and to let you guys know, it's Thursday, um, February 16, okay? So you guys know what day it is, okay? I'll try to get this vlog up as soon as I can. But I'm just really not like feeling well. Also my stomach it is like And then the doctor has to write the paper and I have to bring it in to the post office or like any post mailbox, you know. I have to bring it in there before five PM. So actually at least at four thirty. So I have to pick my daughter up. Maybe I have to like make some photos or mm, yeah, photos. Then I have to get like bring it in or bring it in and the photos will be tomorrow. But I just really want to know what's wrong and I'm just, I'm just so stressed and I'm already like a stressed chicken like seriously. But I will see what the doctor says. Um, if he find it necessarily for getting photos or not. But actually to be honest the um, therapist, a specialist, whatever you want to call it, he really found it like a um, very... Uh, important to make like new photos and check my ribs at the right side and maybe even on the on the left side even if it's not hurting there but he find it necessary so i'm also going to tell the doctor that and i'm going to try to catch you guys later today or tomorrow with an update um i will see i hope it's not bad i don't know what's wrong with me with my body is it because i'm turning 25 this year and I'm feeling old and I was laughing um, last year my boyfriend like you're getting 25 so you're close to 30 not to 20 I'm going to be close to 20 and not anymore this year but closer to 30 is it that is it revenge yeah I don't know but anyway I try to catch you I try to guide oh my god I try to catch you guys later Hi guys, so I'm home um, from the doctor, so I picked my daughter up after I came from the doctor. Um, I came home, um, it's so super hot outside, so um, I was just wearing like no jacket or anything, that's how hot it is. Um, and then I got to the store and had to like post directly uh, my paper um, because I can't go to work and it had to get sent before 5 p.m. It is like um, 4.35, so it's on time before they um, empty the post office mailbox um, the last time today. Yeah, my daughter is like reading, but anyway. Um, so what did I want to say? So tomorrow I have my appointment um, with um, uh, the doctor for making pictures because today... They couldn't do it. Um, it was Mama. full and already, and also Mama. almost Mama. going to close. Mama. And so yeah, I keep you guys of course up to date tomorrow. But don't forget to check out my vlog tomorrow again because then I will be also vlogging to keep you guys up to date. Love you guys, and I see you guys tomorrow. Bye.